In this last part of episode 3, we'll route all the components of the application. The app routing module is the file that contains all the routing information. Here, the routes array allow us to declare all the routes. Our application contains the home, about, and contact components. Therefore, we have three routes to declare. The syntax is pretty straightforward. For each route, we have to create an object that contains the path and the related component. For the home component we'll leave the path empty, but for the about and contact components we will explicitly declare the path. Now let's uncomment the home and about components. Here we have the three pages components displayed at the same time. But we don't want that. That's why we'll use the router outlet selector, which will manage all the routes declared in the app routing module file. As you can see with the router outlet, we can properly navigate between the components. Now we have to map the buttons to the routes. To do so, we have to use the router link attribute. All right. The About and Contact buttons are mapped. Now let's do the Home button. This is working fine, but we don't want this blue outline around the brand. Also, we want a pointer cursor on mouse hover. Let's fix that. To do so, we'll actually use the navbar brand class. Great. This is way better. Everything is working fine now. Let's actually test on virtual devices. This is working out perfectly. In the next episode, we'll finish out the styling of our application. See you soon.